What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about people having issues with the auto hole cutting function, meaning the function where if you push pull a face through an object, it cuts a hole on the back side. And so I wanted to talk through maybe some troubleshooting things, some things that people might uh, wanna look into if the holes they're trying to create are not cutting. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, I wanna note that we're talking specifically about cutting holes in flat objects. So I don't really want to get into cutting holes in curved objects. That's a whole different thing. So this is assuming that we're using SketchUp's features in order to quickly create like a door or a window in a face. So as a lot of you know, um, SketchUp has this handy little uh, auto cut feature where if you take an object, so if you look at this, this is all raw geometry, right? Nothing is grouped. And I've drawn a door opening and a window opening as faces on top of this face right here. So these are basically aligned with this face. And so if I was to push pull this face to the back side, you can see how it turns gray. And uh, it tells me that my offset is limited to negative six. And if I click, this automatically cuts a hole in my wall, right? So that's going to work the same way with this window opening right here. So if I move my mouse here to the thickness of my wall and then click, it's going to cut a hole. And so some people have been struggling with a couple different things having to do with this. And I wanted to talk through what to do if your object is not cutting the hole. And so the very first thing is when you do this, you need to make sure this is actually cutting through the thickness of your wall, right? Or you need to make sure that you're extruding this um, all the way through the wall to the exact thickness of your wall. So on the front side, for example, you can see how these are placed on this face. Right, if I have the push pull tool active, you can see how they turn gray. So they're individual faces in here. And so this wall is six inches thick. So if I was to add a dimension in here, it would show you that my wall is six inches thick. Well, what that means is that means that when you push pull this, this needs to get push pulled to the exact thickness of my wall, right? And I can either do that by moving my mouse, and I usually find like an inference point like this one and click. Um, you can also move your mouse until you get this little um, this little on face option right here. But you need to make sure you're moving this back by exactly the thickness of the face you wanna cut. So you can see how when I click on this, this cuts a hole. However, if I was to move my mouse like right here, it's not gonna do that because I haven't moved this to the back side of my face, right? So um, on the other hand, if I was to move my mouse and let's move it around just a little bit, there we go. So you can see how right here, for example, it's not giving me that on face inference. Well, if I was to click now, you can see how it doesn't cut the hole because this actually extruded all the way through. And so SketchUp's inferencing engine sees that you've extruded something that isn't level with your back face, and so it's not cutting the hole. So you can either do what I usually do, which is single click, move your mouse up, and then find an inference point on this back wall. You could also type in the thickness of your wall. So if I wanted to extrude this six inches, I could just type in negative six, whoops, or just six, and hit the enter key. And you can see how that extrudes this to the back wall to that exact thickness, and so SketchUp's engine knows to cut the hole. So another issue sometimes people have is their face isn't aligned with the wall. So if you look at this example right here, what I've done is I've drawn a wall that's slightly off kilter, right? So this wall is not drawn along the red axis, but the face, the window opening that I'm trying to create is. And so if I was to take this and try to push pull it through this wall, it doesn't matter where you extrude it to, it's not going to cut a hole because your face that you're extruding is not aligned with this wall. So because this isn't aligned, all this is doing is creating a bunch of extra geometry in here. And so one way you could fix that is you could either realign your wall, so make sure that it's aligned along the red axis, or you could just make sure that you're drawing your shape on your face, right? So if I was to draw this shape on the face, even though it's not directly along the red axis, this face that I'm extruding is now aligned with this wall. So now, if I was to push pull it through and click, you can see how the inferencing engine sees that I've drawn a face, I've extruded it through, and the back side of the face is aligned with the back side of the wall, so it knows to cut a hole. And so the other thing I've seen lately is people struggling with the concept of grouped walls. And so this gets a little bit more tricky when you have groups in here, right? So this geometry 
right here is all in a group. So it's all been selected. I've right clicked on it and I've clicked the option for make group. Um, so this is in a group. Well, the thing is your whole cutter geometry, so the geometry that you're extruding through your wall in order to create the opening needs to be on the actual raw faces of your wall, right? So right now, for example, I have this face that is outside of this group. Well, even though this face is on the outside of this group, if I was to push pull this through and align it with the back side of my wall, you can see how it's not actually cutting a hole, right? So there's no actual hole in this wall. If I was to move it up, you can see how all that did is created this geometry. Well, that's because the base shape that I'm extruding is not inside of this group. And so what you need to do is you need to make sure if you have a group like this, that you double click in here and that you're actually drawing on top of the raw face of your wall. So now if I was to take this, which is actually inside of the group, and I was to push pull this, you can see how it's gonna cut this opening no problem. So basically what that means is that means that when you're actually extruding through an object like this, everything needs to be raw geometry. And so let's say that we were to draw a window opening on this face. So you can see how these are both raw geometry. Well, if this face was grouped, so you can see what I did is I took this back face and I put it in a group. Well now, if I push pull this through, you can see how it doesn't cut the opening. And so it doesn't cut the opening because this isn't a raw face on the back side, right? It's a grouped face. And so what you need to do is you need to make sure when you do this, that this is exploded or that at least it's raw geometry, right? So um, in this situation, what I would do is I would just right click on it and I would explode it so that this is raw geometry and this is raw geometry. And then if I push pull this through, it'll cut the opening just fine. So if you're having trouble with holes getting cut in your flat walls, this is a good place to start troubleshooting. So there are some other things we could talk about in the future about curved walls and other things like that, but this should be really helpful if you're having trouble cutting openings in your walls inside of SketchUp. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.